On Christmas Eve many years ago, I lay quietly in my bed. I did not rustle the sheets. I breathed slowly and silently. I was listening for a sound, a sound I was afraid I'd never hear. To the North Pole, of course! This is the Polar Express! Hey! Hey, you! Yeah, you! Do you know what kind of train this is? Huh? Train. Do you know what kind of train this is? Well, do ya? Uh... Of course. It's a magic train. We're going to the North Pole. Yeah, I know it's a magic train. Actually, it's a Baldwin 284 S3 class Berkshire type steam locomotive. Built in 1931 at the Baldwin Locomotive Works. It weighs 456,100 pounds and has attractive force. Are we really going to the North pounds. Pole? Top speed mm -hmm. hey, wait a Isn't minute. that wonderful? Purple Shimer! Purple Shimer! <laughs> Herpleshimers, herpleshimers, <laughs> bah! I can't stand children. They're the only ones silly enough to believe in Santa. It's toys that make Christmas fun, not Santa. Well, they certainly won't believe in Santa if they never reach the North Pole. And they won't reach the North Pole if they don't have tickets for the Polar Express. <laughs> and they'll never find these tickets before the conductor throws them off the train. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? I want all those Herpleshimer's toys. I'm gonna ask Santa for all of them. Tickets? Tickets, please. I'll be coming back to check your tickets shortly. Make sure you have them ready. I've got my ticket right here. I, I, I can't find my ticket. I never lose my ticket. I always keep it here, safe in my pocket. My ticket, it's gone! I, I lost, lost my ticket! My ticket. Lost ticket. If we don't find our tickets, we're all going to get kicked off the train. It's standard procedure, you know? Everybody calm down. Now why don't you go and search for your tickets in the other train cars, and if the conductor comes by, we'll cover for you while you're gone. Okay! okay. They might not be able to find their tickets by themselves. Maybe one of us should go and help them. Okay. You stay here and keep an eye out for the conductor. I'll go and help find their tickets. Did 
Did you find your ticket? I'm afraid to go in there. It's dark and spooky. A jack in the box has my ticket and it won't give it back. Don't be afraid. If we go in there together, it won't be so scary. Do you know which jack in the box has your ticket? I, I don't know. I was so frightened. I nearly dropped my flashlight when I was looking around in there. Okay, here's the plan. You hold the flashlight and I'll check the jack in the boxes. Try to be brave. I don't like the dark much either. Uh, I'll try. wasn't the one. That wasn't the one. Why did you run off? I can't open the toys without you. It's too scary. I don't want to go back in there. I'm pretty sure I know which toy it's in. We'll find it in no time. Okay, I'll give it one more shot. Hey, did you see that? The boxes have switched places. Spooky. Now, which toys haven't we tried? wasn't the one. That wasn't the one. No, we found it together. I couldn't have done it without your help. But hurry back before the conductor starts looking for us.
Hey, what are you doing here? Well, I came to help you look for your ticket. Obviously. I know where my ticket is. There's a gang of nasty puppets in there, and they've refused to give it back. I'm not afraid of some old puppets. I'll go in there and get your ticket back for you. I've come to get my friend's ticket back. If you want to stop me, you better do it now. <laughs> Take this! That's the way you want it! Get him! my puppets if you want that ticket. Don't you know it's against railway regulations to throw objects inside the train cars? Well, they started it and was the only way I could get your ticket. By the way, here it is. Well, thanks for helping me get my ticket back. If I were you, I'd be getting out of here now before the cook finds out what you did with all that food. Good idea. I'm gonna go find the others and see if they found their tickets. <laughs> 